Adasane, everyone. I'm Angie B, and you're watching a 313 Hobby Me video. And oh my goodness, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for taking some time out of your day to spend it with me by watching my videos. I really appreciate it. In today's video, I am doing damage control on some real heavy winds we are getting and I just wanted to come out and check on the status of the greenhouse before all of the big rain pour down happens so if you're interested in following me on that please stick around First thing I'm doing is trying to gather up all of my grow trays that kind of blew around. I've been outside for the past couple of days doing some up potting and looking at my winter sowing and getting my, um, my new bed together for the asparagus. So we were told that there's going to be some pretty gusty winds and some inclement weather. We're gonna get some freezing temps. Uh, so I've been trying to wait before I put anything in the ground because I don't want to lose anything. I'm just trying to stack these up. I got this little bitty greenhouse that I had. It was the first greenhouse I ever got. It was an Amazon deal. And of course, the zipper broke. So. I've just been using it for storage. I got a couple of winter over um, containers in here and here. My husband staked it down um, with some weights on the side. But I just wanted to come out because I saw my, look at this, I saw my greenhouse lifting um, up and we had this on top of it so that it would not kind of want to do some damage control if I can. Oh, please, please, please do not fly away. I will be so devastated. But I'm leaving the windows and things open so that air can blow right through. And it won't want to damage anything. So, so far, look at wind is blowing right now and I'm just hoping oh my god please don't go away this is so to sit here and watch this I'm so like on um, pins and needles I don't know what else I can use maybe I'll take this brick and hold that down that's what I'll do Oh, it did blow up. So if I could find another brick. Oh, this one isn't even like really on the ground, on the ground. Because we had a couple of bricks over here. See if I could grab a couple more. I don't know what that'll do. Maybe something. Maybe I'll put a few more. I don't even know why I look under stuff because if I see something, I'm, I'm going to drop the brick. <laughs> I don't know why I bother. This, this was supposed to hold these down. Yeah. 
Okay, cross your fingers, guys. Hopefully, we won't get too much of a gust. Maybe if the rain could just come on down and not do so much with the wind. I'm kind of wanting to take my sunflowers in. You know, <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna go in and start some more sunflowers. <laughs> I'm just going to go pot up some more sunflowers just in case. I don't know if I still have black sun. I'll check. Or I could just take those in. I don't know, guys. Sunflowers might be the least of my worries, though. Okay. All right, guys. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I'm really, really trying to keep my eye. I'm going to go inside. Here comes the wind. There it goes. Please don't blow off in front of me. <laughs> I don't know what I would do. Okay. I'm just going to go back in the house and I'm not going to watch because this could be very devastating. Casualty averted, I'm hoping. Um, I was able to secure... Um, the greenhouse in as much as I could uh, it's the cover that the wind flaps it around and lifts it up um, and I was able to put those bricks to hold it I keep looking out at it and it looks like it's holding um, it looks like the major gust of wind has come and gone fingers crossed and hopefully it will just rain and get it over with um, because Usually, and I'll say this and it won't, it won't be right. Usually, the big gust of wind comes before the rain and then the rain pours down and everything is happy. Um, that's not always the case, but I'm hoping it is the case this time because I was literally, as you can see, holding on to <laughs> my greenhouse. Did not want it to blow away. Um, actually, it's not even the greenhouse that concerns me. It is what's in it. And all the time I put into it but I went out and I said I'm not taking any chances and I got my geraniums yes I did those seeds cost just under seven dollars for 25 seeds yeah I'm gonna be garden those with dear life um, so the good thing is though I almost achieved 100% germination I think two seeds didn't germinate so, um, that was that, but <laughs> I just want to thank you guys for, uh, taking the time out of your day to watch this until the end, but don't forget to thumbs up the video, subscribe to the channel. If you're not currently a subscriber, hit the bell icon. That way you'll get a notification whenever I upload videos to this channel. And currently we're trying to figure out this gust of wind. Plus we're supposed to get some freezing temps guys and we've had 80 degree weather 70 degree weather <sighs> but that's michigan for you zone six southeast michigan it's kind of like what we deal with so i'm gonna cut the video off here i'm gonna go ahead and get something to eat and then i'm gonna do some potting up so if you guys want to join me that's gonna be a whole different video so if you guys want to join me i'm gonna do some seeding and some potting up loving the mist is my new sweetheart love in a mist is the name of the flower <clears throat> and I was just shocked that it even germinated cuz it's such an exotic looking flower in my opinion um, I was real happy to see that but anyway I'm saying all that just to say thank you again and I will see you on the next video bye for now